Today we're back on my trident maple. I bought this as a whip from a nursery in 2020 and then I basically planted it in this large tub. I haven't touched it since, so I've had it just over two years now and spoiler alert, I'm not going to be touching it anytime soon. And you can see here, it's a lot taller than when I bought it. The leaves are also a fantastic red colour in October. This tree is going to have a great autumn display in the future when it's small and compact. There is really nothing exciting going on over the winter months. You can just see that's long and leggy, but that is expected when you're trying to grow a tree as big and tall as possible. I'm not sure when I'll cut this back or even when I'll repot it. I'll probably wait until it's literally bursting out of this pot and then I'll have no other choice but to deal with it. Until then, I want it to get as big as possible. Which so far, it's doing a great job. In March, it looks like nothing is really happening, but the buds are actually starting as well, which is always wonderful to see after winter. In a few weeks, it should really start to wake up, which is exactly what happened. Some of these buds are really starting to open now. In April, it's pretty much in leaf, which looks amazing. Again, this tree is going to look amazing when it's finally down to size and ramified. You can really understand why tridents are just so popular in bonsai. They just look so good. In May, the leaves are a pretty cool colour. They're sort of a red and green. Even when this tree is just a big mess, I still like looking at it. I think when I finally chop it back, I will actually just air layer most of the top off and just try and get some more trees. In June, you can sort of get an idea for how tall it is. It's probably just a little under five foot tall at the minute. It was originally up to my knee, so it's definitely started to get a lot taller. And that trunk is certainly a lot thicker than when I bought it. I'm not too sure why the leaves are more red than green. I don't know if that's just from the amount of sunlight, or if that's just how this particular tree is. But I'm happy enough with it, it's very healthy. So it's just going to be left to grow now throughout the summer, and hopefully it just keeps doing more of what it's doing. I want more height and I want more thickness and then when the time is right, I'll chop it back. So not a lot going on with this tree at the minute. We just have to sit and wait for this one to do something, but that's fine. I think it'll be worth it in the long run. Thanks for watching, see you next time.